Hello everybody, it's me, your good friend Sparky, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We are approaching the end of Bardock's Tale, and we need to go up into space and fight Lord Frieza. But there's a side quest we need to do first, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. It's really important. I'm sure the space tyrant will wait. He'll wait for us. I mean, what, what's he gonna do? Bl blow us up? Blow up the planet? Pfft. I doubt it. Ah, let's see. What is going on over here? Oh, it's you. Ah, you guys see this? Read it and weep. I'm a Frieza Force VIP member. They are not impressed. What? Why aren't you scared? You thick in the head? That sort of thing won't work on Cybermen. What? Hey, you're that Saiyan I met before. Perfect timing. I was looking for you when I got jumped by these Cybermen. Help me out. I mean, I guess. We don't got anything better to do right now. I actually don't got time for this right now. <laughs> uh, Bardock contradicting me. But fine, I'll wipe this trash out. Get back. Thanks a bunch. Give him hell. Yeah, sure. This, is, this will be the warm-up fight for when we're getting ready to take out uh, the evil tyrant. I'm sure this will be efficient practice. Freeze is probably as strong as what, like five Cybermen, maybe? It might not be, like, totally at the same level, but I, I, I think they're close enough. I don't, I don't see a reason why we wouldn't be able to gauge Frieza according to the power of the Cybermen. How strong could he possibly be, anyway? Ah, broke ya. A little too late, but... I still broke ya. Yeah. Add a little bit of that. Yeah. Gotcha. I got it. You got it. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. It's fine, though. We can do it. It's just some Cybermen. I'm sure we will be totally okay. I'm gonna be really embarrassed if these Cybermen kill me. I mean, getting getting beat up by Frieza's elite men three times, you know, it, it, it's fine. It makes sense on some level. I don't think I can live this one down, though. I don't I don't think Pardock would be able to live this one down if he got taken out by Cybermen. It just would not fly. Although Sans at the bar will be laughing at him even more. It's just gonna be a bad time, overall. Ow. I'm gonna have to ask you to not. They don't wanna use another healing item if I don't have to. No. Get away. Let me punch you some more. Like this. And that. Oh, I was really hoping that would be enough to finish him off. There we go. No big deal in here. Hey, hey, level up. Awesome. We're gonna need lots of levels for taking on Frieza. Seriously, it's a big problem that you can't handle Cyberman. You're really a Frieza Force soldier. Fighting is in my forte. I'm a chef by trade, after all. What's up? You said you were looking for me. What for? Just so you know, I'm not helping you find more crap. No. Actually, I was looking for you so I could tell you something. What'd you say? Tell me something? What? Yeah. Well, when I delivered that dish to Lord Frieza before... Lord Frieza, here's today's special. I hope you enjoy it. I made it with ingredients that can only be found on Planet Vegeta. 
I suppose that means this will be the last time I feast upon it. What? I'm sorry? No. Oh, it's not important. Forget I said anything. Yes, sir. I couldn't get what Lord Freeze has said out of my mind. Since you helped me out before, I thought I'd let you know. So that's why you came all the way back here. I know, I know. I'm probably overthinking things. I can't help it. I'm a man of duty. What can I say? Ha ha ha. You're still as weird as ever. Anyway, I got it. The planet ain't safe, so get out of here. Huh? What? Wait, is something seriously gonna happen here? Relax. I'm gonna take care of it. What? Take care of it? Don't tell me you're plan you're going up again to go up go blah, blah. Don't tell me you're going to go against Lord Frieza. The Frieza Force. I uh, that sentence was really hard. <laughs> For some reason. You're kidding, right? That's suicide. And I wasn't going to say anything, but you're in bad shape. You okay? <laughs> this is nothing. I'm fine. No, no, no. You are not fine. What are you going to do? Where are you, what are you going to do looking like that? No way. I don't got time to explain it to you. This is a Saiyan problem. <sighs> fine, then. I won't ask you anything. I won't ask you anything else. But at least eat this to regain some of your strength. We got the Malone special. Hey! I don't know what you're planning, but take care of yourself. And get out of here if you have to. Sure. Am I going to see you again? Maybe. Yeah. I'm going to keep on cooking. It's what I do. I'll keep finding ways to season my skillet, so be sure you come back and try all of my delicacies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. But man, you sure are weird. Story complete! Huzzah. And we got some stuff. And we know what happened to Malone after that. No matter what, I ain't gonna let Frieza have his way. Yeah. You tell him. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh I usually do this off screen, but I'm just gonna see real quick if there's anything here. I can Power up, sorta. Yeah. Oh, there's uh, there's cool stuff at the the training grounds I never did. There's a lot of stuff at the training grounds. Oh well. I guess that's fine. We don't have to have literally everything if we don't want to. I mean there's these, we can power up real quick. Nope, out of the orbs. Okay. I think that'll be okay then. Like I said, there's a lot of other skills we can apparently grab at the training grounds. And to be perfectly honest, I probably should have done that off screen, but I didn't. So, uh, we're, we're just gonna have to live with it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else for us to do here. Uh, where is the thing? Where is the thing? Where's the thing? The thing? I'm lost. Oh, it's up there. Okay. I'm not lost. I'm fine now. There we go. Made it this far. Just gotta take that bastard out. It sends now. You have a series of fights ahead of you. Take a good look at your recovery items and super attack palette before taking on this trial. Eh, yeah, we're fine. This is it. Gotta, gotta put everything on the line. Uh, um, well, we're presumably fine. I probably could be way more prepared, but we're going for it anyway. Oh dear. It's me. It's gonna be me. The future. I'm gonna change it. Ah! 
Hurrah! It's time to change the future! <laughs> this will be the last time I gaze upon this planet. L Lord Frieza! And we're taking out all the dudes. Yeah. This... This is what the horde battles were made for. Reliving this scene from this DLC. They were technically introduced beforehand in a different DLC pack. But man, if this isn't exactly what they were designed for. <laughs> this is just probably the coolest usage of them ever. Because, <laughs> I mean, what, what other amazing mass battle of things can you think of in Dragon Ball? That would be so cool to relive, other than this scene right here. <laughs> How about a little bit of this, guys? I probably could have powered that up a little more, but it's fine. Says you. How about I get near your face instead? And punch it! Oh, don't let him get near death's door. That's my mission. <laughs> yeah, we got the tough guy in here. We gotta do a little more damage to him. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. How about a little bit of that? Okay, all right. We're not doing bad. Could be doing a lot worse. How about you get out of my face and stop with the punching of me? You say that as Bardock is shredding through you like your freaking cheese. Like your cheese on a grater. How about a little more of this? How's this sound to you? Yeah! Yes. Uh, it's just me and you, Frieza Force Commander. I wiped out everyone else. So what do you think about that, Sam? Ow. You think kicking me, okay. Gotcha. Oh, wow. I'd really rather not lose to you. Uh, please go away. Thanks, bye. Barak is none too pleased. Level up! There we go. Well, oh, hey, Dodoria. Well. So you're still alive, huh? You got guts to show up here. Dodoria! I'll make sure to finish you off this time. It's admittedly been a while since I saw the actual special, but did Bardock actually fight Dodoria at all in the Father of Goku? I actually don't know. I don't remember. I don't think it's a thing that happened, but it is a cool addition regardless. There we go. 
It is pretty hard to gauge Bardock's power overall, too. Because he can clearly get through elites, no problem. And yet, Dodoria really gave him some trouble at first. <laughs> Gonna have to hax you to not. Ow, that was my face. Stop punching me, I'm trying to punch you. It's very rude of you. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess that does make sense. Bardock takes quite a beating. Oh, wow. There I go. Okay. Jeez. Doria. Doria! <laughs> Just hit a guy while he's down. <laughs> okay, let me retry. Alright. Letting me pick up right from here. That's good. It's not going to make me do the whole thing over again. Oh, he was, he was doing that. Okay. There we go. I think I do have a clue what I'm up against. I've done part of this fight already. Thank you. You could use the excuse that whenever Bardock gets uh, obliterated in a fight past a certain point, it's actually um, like a future vision he's having. And in all actuality, he never really lost to begin with, and he's just using his power to see the future to uh, avoid certain doom. Or at least that's the headcanon I'm going with. Yeah, you're gonna charge towards me, I'm gonna... Ow, okay, you're gonna shoot me with lasers, I'm gonna do that. How's that? Alright, alright. Yeah, it's true. Um, Ow, jeez. Okay. Wow. Okay. This is this is this is what destroyed me last time. Doria is not pleased. It seems. Okay. Going for it. Oh, and now you're doing this. Come on, man. It's not okay. It's not okay of you. Gotta avoid the mouth lasers. Ow. Nah, I don't want to, but... Eh. Alright. Ow, oh, jeez! How did it, how did you hit me? I was to the side. Oh, and there I go. There I go again. Dang. Okay, yeah, I probably should have stocked up on healing items before I did this. There we go. We we had another future vision though. We had a vision of things to come. And now we are going to Remember to use our power-ups and things like that, and really lay into Dodoria. Like this. Oh, come on. Really? How dare you make me miss my cool things? How dare you make me have to dodge your dumb lasers and let my stuff run out? Boy, I hate it when I can't knock them out of attacks. <laughs> it's just a little frustrating. Alright, alright, alright. We're fine, we're okay. Eh. Uh, let's 
He's a heal aid. Just to top us off. Man, a single blow from Zoria really takes out most of our health. Jeez, jeez. All right. Okay, all right. There's, there's my face. Oh, give me like a second to punch you. Just a second. Just a, just a singular second. Oh, boy. Come on. How about that? There we go. Gotta get my combos in. Oh man, I hate that my attacks keep missing. <laughs> I hate that my attacks keep missing out of my after my cool combos. But there we go. There goes the Doria. Jeez. <laughs> We gotta do it. We gotta take out all the guys and avenge the Saiyan race. Or something like that. You, you lousy piece of. Sidoria. What do you want? Can't you see that I'm a little bit busy right now? Stand down at once. Lord Frieza wishes to engage. L Lord Frieza? Be quick about it. Unless you want to die. He's running away. The hell? Huh? Hello. Lord Frieza. Lord Frieza. Lord Frieza. <laughs> Lord Frieza? Lord, what is going on? Frieza. Is that confused? So you finally show your damn face. I must commend you on your efforts thus far. Although I had originally planned on simply reducing you and your pathetic little planet to smoldering atoms. Hmm. You've managed to impress me. It would be a shame for such bravery to go unrewarded. I, Emperor Frieza, will graciously engage you in combat. Consider this a parting gift from me to you. <coughs> Arrogant bastard! Now then, when you're ready. I'm also pretty sure this didn't happen in the Bardock special. Oh boy, yeah, and there's a lot of stuff flying at me. Okay. Frieza's got his pink orbs at the ready. Oh boy. Not even getting out of his bubble car for this one. So it's a bit of a unique fight. Oh, uh, oh we're seeing the future. Hold on. I mean, probably. Trying to time that. It's not working out. You Saiyans 
are truly a thorn in my side. Oh boy. This probably isn't good. Ah, those, those are meteors. Those are meteors raining down from the sky. Boy, yeah. This is definitely not something that happened in the special. But I guess they really wanted to give Bardock a cool final boss fight. Why don't I punch you now? There we go. And it does make it a bit of a unique fight from the regular game, too, considering we are not facing just Frieza, we are facing Bubble Car Frieza. A truly unique form, all things considered. Whoa. That was pretty cool, actually. <laughs> He was charging an attack, I was charging my attack. There we go. Alright. Whoops, oh, future time, okay. I intend to rid the universe of every last one of you. Is this future? Oh boy. There we go. Oh, that is a Super Ball. I don't want to get hit by the Super Ball. It seems like it's a problem. It seems like it would it would hurt me. I get a n nasty sunburn from that Super Ball. All right, all right. Oh boy. I'm running out of my heelys. There we go, there we go. Okay, we're not not doing too bad. Okay, we got Anger Freeze again. We could probably sneak in some attacks here. While we keep our distance from him and we avoid the meteorites. Rye Javelin does go a good distance. And here comes the supernova. And there we go. We've got an opening. We're gonna punch him a bunch. A punch a punch. A punch a bunches. Ow, okay, that is directly in my face. I don't like that. No death beams, please. I've seen the future. I know how much damage those do. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, that's every, every beam, every laser, okay. Alright, alright. There we go. The out your time! Bardock's having a bit of a realization of how this might end. All right, so this part honestly isn't that bad. If we can manage to sneak in attacks, which we can't always because, oh dear, that's, that's probably a bad time to do that. Some of his attacks block the Riot Javelin, unfortunately. Really likes flooding the screen with stuff. Alright, but there's the finale ball. The indication that this is ending. There we go. Just a little more. A little further. We almost got this. Uh, drink. I'm not hungry. Thanks. I don't want to taste 
Oh, I'm out of healing items. I'm out of healing items. <laughs> Please, no. Please, not like this. I hit the wrong button. Oh, oh. I'm scared. I am afraid. But we've almost got this. Uh. Uh, uh. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Oh, you're really doing this again. <laughs> uh. Oh, this is the end. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. This is the ending. Looks like playtime is now over. So why don't you go and join your brethren in death? Betcha Frieza wasn't expecting that. Oh, what B? Go away. I think that's our first B, actually. <laughs> yeah, that could have definitely gone a lot smoother. But, you know, still makes for a good ending. It's not over. This is it. This will change everything. Fate of planet Vegeta. My own fate. The fate of Kakarot will also. Your fate as well! And, yeah, we've seen the future ourselves. We knew how this was going to end. And not only is Frieza content to wipe out the Saiyans, but he's just content to wipe out everyone else on planet Vegeta too. Probably a lot of people who didn't deserve it. seeing it all right <laughs> yep unfortunately 
Bardock's story is one that was doomed to end in tragedy. Unless you uh, count the second special where he like goes back in time and that all happened. I think that special was included with Dragon Ball Z for Kinect, if I'm remembering correctly. And a lot of people really don't like that special too, honestly. <laughs> the Saiyans and planet Vegeta. And Kakara honors his father's wishes by completely forgetting about the Saiyans and everything relating to them for a very long time. Huh? What do we have here? The baby boy! Where did you come from? Space. Huh? Oh my, look at that! You have a tail! Oh, well, this is no place for a child like you, is it? Would you like to come stay with me? Oh, you're a sprightly little one, aren't you? What do you say to become an old Son Gohan's new grandson? Sound good? You're gonna need a name. Let's see, uh... Hmm... Goku! You'll be Son Goku! I'll make sure you grow up nice and strong. Upsy-daddy! <laughs> Upsy-daddy! Upsy-daddy! <laughs> Upsy-daddy! <laughs> From tragedy, another story has started. Epic tale we know today as Dragon Ball. Indeed. To be perfectly honest, I had considered actually starting the project with the episode, the, the Bardock DLC, instead of the World Martial Arts Tournament, as a sort of, like, total, absolute start to, like... Dragon Ball canon, but it made more sense to include it after the Frieza saga because, you know, you get the flash forwards to Frieza and the fight with Vegeta and Goku going Super Saiyan and all that. So this felt like an appropriate place to put it. In between sagas. And you know what? This DLC is great. The whole, the whole episode of Bardock, it's a classic story that all Dragon Ball fans really love. And it's a classic story that was messed with by the beloved creator of the series. <laughs> and a lot of people didn't really like that. But at the same time, you can't be too mad at it. Dragon Ball Super canon Bardock has his strong points too. I'm not going to pretend that it's completely without merit, and I feel like the people who do are kind of kidding themselves. <laughs> but I, I guess that's an argument for another time. All in all, this whole episode is great. I definitely think I like it better than the uh, 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament DLC. Um, again, just because you get to team up with your Saiyan pals for a little while, and you get to do all the flying around and, like, cool combo moves and things like that with the energy beams and blasts and stuff like that. And the Bardock story is just great overall, and being able to live through some of these moments is just absolutely excellent. This is a really good choice for, like, an additional story campaign they could have added to this game. Because it just has so many moments that were great for adaptation into the gameplay. And, you know, you get to see stuff like them actually going to planets and wiping out the population and stuff like that. 
You didn't get to see that during the special. You got to play it in this game, though, which is really cool. And the added fight with Frieza on the end is really just kind of a cherry on top. Yeah, it didn't happen in the original special, but... Boy, is it cool. And definitely a unique Frieza fight in comparison to what you got during the main game. The main Frieza fights are fine, but it's the sort of thing that games cover time and time again. The Bardock episode, though... I can't really think of too many times it was adapted to game form, actually. Now that I think about it. Dragon Ball Z Sagas, I think, might have done a little bit of it. I know Bardock was at least playable in that game. But uh, this game's definitely a step up from DBZ Sagas. <laughs> um, Yeah, unless there were just the occasional, like, added story bits, story modes in some of the fighting games that I'm forgetting about. I don't think the episode of Bardock is... Uh, no. Uh, Bardock, Bardock, Father of Goku. Episode of Bardock is the other one. I keep getting those confused in my head. Uh, Bardock, Father of Goku, I don't think this got adapted too often, honestly. And seeing it put together in just kind of a grand scale here was really cool. Like I said, it was, it's a great choice to adapt for this sort of game. Um, the other DLC campaigns are two, of course. But I'd say this one was definitely deserving of adaptation, and they did a really good job with it. Uh, we're not quite done with this yet, though. They did include a little more... Uh, alongside Bardock's story, which we will see once the credits decide to stop. Um, I don't know how much is left, if I'm being perfectly honest. <laughs> and I'm kind of out of things to say, so can we skip forward? Oh, wait, we're at the end. Never mind. Are we? Bardock reaches out to his son. And notice how Raditz was never mentioned. <laughs> that is definitely one thing that always bothered me about the Bardock story, is that Raditz kind of gets the shaft and is, like, never talked about or seen. But at the same time, they included Raditz a little bit more in Dragon Ball Super. Yeah? Right? That's... That's something good, right? Yeah. I'd say that's something good. Uh... But yeah. I mean... What else can I really say? Overall, this is just, like... A great story a great way to tell this story. It's just really fun. Super neat. Super nifty. Yeah. I get to see Bardock scream at stuff, which is also cool. Larg. Blast and Frieza. Heck yeah. We just saw that a couple minutes ago, but you know what? It's still cool to see. Oh man, they are really dragging this out, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, we might as well let the credits play through while we're here. I think I let them play through for the Dragon Ball section as well. So it's all right. It's pretty cool. All things considered. I get to watch the planet get annihilated again. As if it wasn't dramatic enough the first time. And yeah, I mean... That was just all of Frieza's guys, too, wasn't it? It was like, they were just there watching the fight. And for their crimes of watching the fight, 
they got wiped out along with Planet Vegeta. Not a very nice boss, I'd say. And man, the scene of like Bardock's armor getting blown away and stuff like that. It's so cool. It's crazy. It really just... This also really emphasizes how great some of the cutscenes and stuff are in this game, too. I said that once already, I'm pretty sure. Is that sometimes... I just kind of get lost in watching them. With all the really great animation and things like that. So, it can be hard to, like, remember I'm doing a project and I have to talk over things. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's the end. Produced by Bandai Namco Entertainment. There we are. Hey, look at this cool stuff we got for getting blown up. <laughs> and, yeah. After completing Bardock Alone Against Fate, congratulations on completing the story. The following features can have been unlocked. Prince Vegeta's story. Advanced training grounds. Story replay. And we go to the tough training grounds. And we can do the story re replay. If you want to relive things. Hey, we got Grandpa Gohan. Cool. Prince Vegeta's story is included as well. You can play as the... Pr you can play the Prince Vegeta story by examining the Pillar of Light by the Saiyan Stomping Ground. See behind the scenes of Bardock's struggle through a young Vegeta's eyes. That was a completely new addition to things. Prince Vegeta's story was never really elaborated on uh, at all in any way, shape, or form. So that is what we're going to be doing next time as we've rewound time to an unexploded planet Vegeta. Quick, Bardock, warn everyone again. I'm sure they'll believe you this time. Or not. But anyway, that's going to be it for right now. So, thank you very much for watching. This is your good friend Sparky signing off. And I will catch you later. Man, Bardock's cool. This whole story was cool. I'm really glad it exists.